Welcome back, guys. Uh, we have a new objective. Uh, please focus on taking back Osangoa. Okay. Uh, and do not attack Kurita. They are helping us fight off the common clan ghost bear invasion. Okay. Osangoa. Where is that? Uh, so we did take back uh, Putalam here, so that's nice. And we did take back like how? We haven't taken back Maripa or La Liga, but where is Botanga? I have no idea. Oh, Bosangoa. There it is. 27 days and 100,000 to get there. It's a two skull planet. Okay, but there's already three Outworld Alliance companies there. So we might just stay here for now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We do have quite a lot of money. So we could work on getting you ready for battle. We could work on getting you ready for battle. So we need an XL engine. We need an engine core. It was running a 280. A 4.6. Uh, what are your quirks? Focus fire plus one arm mounted accuracy plus one evasion ignore. Okay. And it's a lot of ballistic and some laser that you have. Uh, what if we stuck a 300 engine core in here? Then it's four seven. Uh, let's stick with the 280 right now for right now and see. Uh, you're running a royal sink kit. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And we can put an engine heat sink in there, but we only have a plus two. We can only run a plus one. So that's maybe something that we should buy if we can get it let's go see if we can get it uh, store nothing there I'm a piercing AC 10 ammo I will buy though Uh, let's see what's here. It'll be XAC 20. It's quite nice. Any clan stuff? Oh, there's some clan endo. We already have one though. Enhanced imaging clan. That's quite nice, but we don't have anyone with neural implants. Gunnery support A, we will buy. New equipment available. Then there's some Clan Pharaoh. We already have one.
It's slick sweet. Which is quite nice. But also quite expensive. Mm. Alright. No Indian heat sinks. Okay. Hey, Commander. That's a shame, but it's fine. We'll manage without. Let's max armor you. Uh, where are the engines? Engine cores. Okay. I think we'll need the clan Endo and clan Pharaoh as well to save on some space. Okay. And you have anti-air targeting. Provides plus one evasion chips ignored. Times two multiplier to anti-air factor for this unit's weapons. Okay. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have an Ultra AC5, which I'd quite, quite like to use. We have a Rack 5. Do we have ammo for it? We do. We have one bin of Ultra AC5 ammo. And we have two bins of Rack 5 ammo. So that's quite nice. Um, we have a Rack 20 clan. But we can't carry it. But I think we do need the extra bin of Rack 5 ammo. Where'd it go? Oh, it came in there. Okay. That leaves us with... What? 12 tons to work with? Uh, we do want a C3 in here. And a Guardian ECM, I think. And maybe a Beagle Probe. Or maybe a warfare suite. Mm. Come on. I'm clicking you. Let's take a warfare suite in there. And then we do have some patchwork materials that we can use if we want to. And we have quite a lot of battle computers. So we might use that. Uh, so that would mean that we need, for instance, FCS TC Mark II. Uh, 
so you have a recoil of two, you have a recoil of one, so let's put you in there. And then... A sensors tracker. We don't have much in the way of cockpits. A battle computer ballistic. Battle computer jam. Battle computer recoil. We don't really need the battle computer recoil, I don't think. That's quite nice as well. But I think these two are fine for now. That leaves us with five tons. Plenty of heat sinking. LBX-85 weighs seven tons. Three ninety, seven eighty, three hundred, six hundred. It's not great. Uh, what do we have for? We have two tons of LBX five ammo. And your range was 420, 840. So that's more compatible with the Ultra AC5. So if we did something like that and put an LBX AC5 in there. with the ammo that would be okay and that leaves us with quite a lot of tonnage so we could put another little bit AC5 in here We need a bit more ammo. We're low on ammo, man. Uh, that leaves us with a couple of tons. Two and a half tons. Let's put a bolt on AMS on you. Um, two and a half tons. Yeah, you're a little heavy. We could also make it four disco lasers. That's actually not bad either. But that's very short range. We don't really have the tonnage for this. I wouldn't mind backing it up with a large laser, something like that. But that puts us quite a bit over. I mean... Could just put some medium lasers on there. One, two, 
three medium lasers on there. No, just two. Two medium lasers on. Where did I put it? And then take a bit of... I mean, heat sink is, is fantastic. I think this is what we're going to do. Actually, can I... Does this fit? It does. It doesn't say what recoil it has. It does have an anti-air factor of 20%, which is... Nice, and that ha and the other one has seventeen percent. So is this what we're doing? We do need. Uh, let's put gunner support A in there. Do we have a cockpit? We do. Cockpit SLDF. I don't suppose we have gunnery support B lying around. No. Okay. I think I can live with this. So let's drop that bit of armor that we have to do something like that that seems pretty good three and a half million we can afford it 43 days let me know what you think of the build um, I'm not entirely sure myself but I mean, we have a lot of unused weapon slots, but it is what it is. We just don't have the weight to uh, to use them. Certainly not if we want to put these big guns in there. The alternative would be... What? Using a bunch of machine guns? Or something like that. But I don't want to do that. And our heat sinking is fantastic. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's not fantastic, but it's better than nothing. Uh, our tasks are set up. Shadowhawk is 15 days out, man. We're gonna have to run without the Shadow Hawk. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Because as I recall, it's been a few days since I played. As I recall, the Shadow Hawk took a heck of a beating. And needs to be fully rebuilt. Or something like that, so... Come on in. Okay. Well, we have a solo duel. Alright, I think we have some manageable missions. So that's good. That's good. All right, so uh, let's do a solo duel. We'll do one four. Let's clear. And we'll run the dervish with Nog. 
deploy it. All right. I'll see you guys when we're ready to drop. All right, guys. Let's go duel this guy. Command interface initiated. Okay. Let's just get in there as usual. And see what we can see. Uh, we're gonna reserve a swordsman. Okay. With an AC5, two medium lasers, and an LRM5. That seems manageable. Uh, let's just get into this cover. You know what? I just might ping him. Uh, uh, we can get in there. Alright. Uh, let's go with the heat. Alright. He didn't enjoy that. Okay, Nog. Uh, let's just move. Let's move. We don't have anything else here, no. All right, well. There he goes. Okay. That was nice and easy. That was nice and easy. And quite a bit of money. Like 700,000, was it? Something like that. 683,000. Uh, man, what a bunch of crap he had. I'll just take the alarm five. Primitive sensors can go. All right, I'll see you guys back on the Argo. Okay, some things are happening. Nothing that concerns us right now, though. 733 and one day. I'll take it. Uh, we need to go one more day. Okay. So there. All right. So what's next? Come on in. Next is... What's this? A recovery? No. Let's do a battle. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. And let's see. The Warhammer isn't coming. There's something wrong with the Firefly as well. What's wrong with the Firefly? Did it get beat up? Okay. The lower leg actuator was destroyed. Okay, that's fine. Okay, an urgent matter. So I think that limits us somehow. We'll see. Rifleman. Uh, vindicator. Uh, maybe not the Vindicator. Yeah, maybe the Vindicator is coming, actually. Uh, let's be Firefly. All right, who's in the Firefly? I don't remember any of this. Uh, actually, what, we, what we'll do is we'll load up Alpha Squad. 
Uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. So the Shadow Orc can't come. It's lunar terrain, so we can run a Cloud Buster. We can run a Cloud Buster. With Archer in it. I suppose. So four shields, three skulls. That's probably fine. Okay. Uh, why can't I deploy? You're only allowed to drop six. Okay. So we cannot run a cloud buster and we won't be running the firefly either. So three and a half shields, three skulls. Let's go. Let's go and see how this goes. All right. I'll see you guys when we're ready to start. All right, guys, we're ready to go. Let's do this. Okay. Destroy the local government lands in here. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll land back here. I hear a vehicle. And another one. I uh, knew it. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Okay. Well, big slide. Are you normally in the blackjack? Uh, let's see. Who do we deal with first? We see a Pegasus, a Bushwhacker, with some Ballistic Energy and Missiles. Salon Medium Tank, which we don't know what is. A Stealth. A Clint. A Cobra with some Ballistic. A Myrmidon Medium Tank. And some Cavaliers. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, I think we move over this way, deal with these guys. Just running. Uh, switch your Guardian Museum to active. Alright, we still don't see what they've got on them. Nog. Do we see anything now? AC-10 and a medium laser. That's not too scary. PPC and SRM-6. Not too bad. Machine guns and a medium rifle. Not scary. Cavalier. Not really that scary. Stealth. Yeah, medium lasers. Streak SRM-6. Binary laser. AC-10 Myrmidon. Or Midron. Machine guns. Yeah, large laser. Pegasus. Okay. None of it is really all that scary. Alright, I like it. Axe. I should really move that those bolt-on rockets to someone else. Oh, I keep forgetting to turn the uh, 
ECMs on if they have them or activating them. Bingo. Switch that to active. Done. Okay. Here we go. Well, why don't you sprint in here and hit that clint? With everything you've got. All right, it heated up us up more than it heated him up. No, I think we'll stay on the Clint. Uh, so come here. Let's just try and get something down. Fire. All right, Clint is down. It's the stealth turn now. My stomach is telling me I didn't feed it. His mask blew up. Let's hit that Cobra. Bengal. You can hit the Cobra as well. Alright, Cobra down. Wasn't too bad. I think we come over here and hit the stealth. Fire. Well, he's unsteady. His structure is exposed. I like it. Fire. That's three down in the first round. Okay. Big sly. You can't get up there, can you? Can't really hit anything from there. Let's reserve you. No. You can. All right. You are a bit hot, though. I hate these biomes, man.
Okay. Steam it, Doc. Alright. Well, he's open. Um, I think we can get Bengal up there where he can hit it as well. So let's bring you over this way. That's a pretty nice hit chance. Oh, that's on him. I think I'll go for you. Fire. Big Sly. Oh, you can actually hit him. Somewhat. Not enough to take him out. That hurt a bit. Bingle. Please finish him. Thank you. Okay. That's half of them down in two rounds. All right, bushwhacker it is. Live with it. Bengal. That's not a great hit chance. Did get a tickle in. Big sly. Come up here, and you'll have a turn to just pull down. Uh, yeah, we'll pull down for a turn. The Tengus. I think we'll stay on the bushwhacker. All right, he's open and unsteady. I don't necessarily want to get closer to that thing. That's him down. Terrible hit chances. Tickling Batangus. He didn't move. So that's nice. 
And he's just sitting there. What's the plan? I understand. Well, we're not going to overheat, so stupid PPC missed. Tangus. Actually, yeah, it's the front that's hit. Just come over here. Fire. Big sly. Axe. Let's use your... No, let's not use your bolt-on rockets. We'll use your SAM ammo for this. Should be more than enough to kill it. Okay, just two left. And you can't see it from anywhere. Is there like a, a hill? Well, maybe, maybe it's because they're down in the crater. All right, just move. Embrace. Okay, Batangas. Big sly. Uh, let's wait. Alright, I can live with that. Axe. Uh, let's just use standard ammo. All right, he's open. Nog. Come over here. Actually, uh, do you have... Do. Okay. Short range missiles are out. Yes, Commander. Bengal. Full speed ahead. Steamer dock. Big slide. That's better, but. I don't want to be that close. Come over here. Hit him with everything. Okay. Axe. You can finish that thing off, I hope. Yep. Mag destroyed. Bengal. Well, just brace. Bracing for impact. No. I don't think we're going to need much more than this. Mm, a little bit. Uh, 
big slide. Come over here. We'll fire the plasma rifle. And there we go. Done deal. Done deal. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Awesome. Six thousand uh, GPC SRM six sensors identifier sensors plus fifty percent increased energy weapon range minus fifty. That's not bad. Ooh, we have a full bushwhacker and a full stealth. Well, let's see about you. Barrow structure, nothing really in the face. Near large laser case, and I'm five Seuss. Hmm. Nothing really interesting in there. Street SRM-6. Nothing really interesting in there either. It is a 55 tonner. It is a 55 tonner. No, we'll take it, I think. And then... What else do we want? Sensors, energy range, maybe? We don't need endo. Definitely not. Another Beagle Probe? I'll take it. And another Tag, I think. I'll take. What's the Binary Laser? 80 damage. Hmm... Lightweight and do not require ammo, but run very hot. It's not a bad laser. But... I think we'll confirm this. Might get it anyway, who knows. Nope, got some armor, basic sensors, some structure. Okay. Well... Okay, decent, decent. I'll see you guys back on the Argo. All right, guys, we're back on board. Rita took Prince Prime from Outworld. Are they? I thought they were supposed to be helping us. Okay. Back uh, okay, 30,000, four days. That's acceptable. That is acceptable. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I didn't want to go to engineering. I wanted to go to the mech bay and check out this bushwhacker. Uh, yeah, there isn't much left in it, is it? There really isn't much left in it. Hmm. I think we just scrap it.
I mean, it's not a horrible mech, but we have we have others, and we have the Jäger mech coming online. So I think we scrap that for the money. And then the rifleman runs so damn hot, doesn't it? You already have a thermal exchanger. That's a shame. You can't run two. Nope. But we can put it on something else that runs hot, like the dervish. I don't think it has. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Uh, let's get Bengal out of fatigue. All right, Dervish, do you have a thermal exchanger? You do not, but you can't run it either because you have those two on there. But I think taking this off and putting the thermal exchanger on there might be worth it. It might be worth it. Uh, we have minus four heat. What does the dervish have? Minus two. Minus twenty four. Minus seven. Minus six. Zero. Uh, put a thermal exchanger on you. Oh, and on the blackjack, I think I'll take that bolt-on rocket off. Well, we can put that on. But actually, no. We'll, we'll leave that there. And then what we'll do is we'll just let you get ready. And we'll go back in the mech bay. Firestarter. And we'll put the bolt on eye rocket on you. Because you are a heady, right. a heady one. I'll get it in the schedule. All right. We'll do that. And then there's engineering. I got some things to update you on, boss. That's quite nice. That is quite nice. Training modules three. Roger Let's get that. that. I'll get the crew moving. Let's get that. All right. Anyway, we are out of time for today, so uh, we'll call this one here. But I think that went rather well, and a little duel, and a little battle, and that's all good. We have. Nine days to go on the Shadowhawk, 38 on the Jäger mech. So that's fine. 22 days to go for the financial report. And we have the money for the financial report, so that's good. So the next 22 days is just money making, really. Uh, so that's nice. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.